Okay, I'm just giving it a moment to show up on my Facebook page. And there we go. Okay, well, thank you for joining me. My name is Christy Hillock. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. My business is CJ Card Creations, and I am so glad that you're here with me. Whether you're catching me live or on the replay, I really appreciate you watching, and I hope that you will like and share this, and even better if you will um, actually create your version of what I'm making, then that would be really fun. So, and share it, obviously, on the video or just on my page. So, a um, couple things, let's see. I have a host code listed in the description of this video. If you need any of these supplies, I would love your business. And if you could plug in that host code, that really helps me. Unless your order is $150 or more, and then you should get those rewards. Um, I have a calendar link that will take you to, to my calendar so that you can sign up for upcoming classes. And there is a link for Paper Pumpkin, a link to be part of my team, which is called the Queen Bees. And um, then my Facebook group, my YouTube channel. So I would love it if you would follow me in all of those areas. And let's see what else I wanted to tell you. Um, now is Celebration, which is a wonderful time to shop Stampin' Up! and also a wonderful time to join Stampin' Up! as a demonstrator. For every $50 or $100 purchase that you make, you earn a free product of your choice from the Celebration catalog. This awesome otter stamp set is one of the freebies and I can't stop using it. These little guys are so cute. And I'm usually not a big fan of the cutesy little animals, but these guys are fun and easy to color, and I just have had a really great time with them. So, um, if you decide instead of shopping that you want to join Stampin' Up!, then the deal is amazing because it is... For $99, you pick out $125 of product and it ships free to you, which is wonderful. But during celebration, you also get to pick out two more stamp sets from the annual catalog or the new January to June catalog. And so if that's something you're interested in, it's an amazing deal, and I will show you how to work your way through it. Hello, I'm so glad that you're here, Aunt Pat, and thank you so much for sharing. Yes, I know, I, share, I showed a card with this little otter a couple of weeks ago, but this project is a little bit different, and I just wanted to use them again. So I'm glad you're here. Um, last thing that I was going to say was just about Paper Pumpkin, which is our all-in-one kit that comes out every month. The February kit is available for subscription right now, and it is called Safari Celebration. And it looks super fun, especially if you like these otters. It's, it's going to be kind of your speed. Um, it makes nine cards of three different designs, and the stamps are full of uplif uplifting sentiments, like yay and fantastic and awesome, and the colors are really rich and beautiful, um, and so I just think that it will be a great kit, not one that you want to miss. So sign up through that link um, no later than February 10th. Okay, so let's get going. So I actually had meant to do this at Christmas, and then Christmas was crazy, and so I just didn't get it done. But we love our crossing guards, and so it's cold here. Hi, Mom. I'm glad you're here. It's really cold here, so I felt like the crossing guards might appreciate these little hand warmers. So I wanted to make some cute packaging for them, but I also didn't want to spend a ton of time making all of these. So I took some designer series paper and made a little pouch. And I actually, you can tell, I debated which way I wanted to close the bottom. Um, so I don't know, let me know what you think. I, I mean, they're both cute in their own ways. But anyway, we are going to make this. So I'm using the um, Pattern Party designer series paper, which is a host pack. So you only get it for free with rewards if you have a party 
or if you make a purchase of $150. Oh, I'm glad you like the idea. I just try to spoil our crossing guards because I think they get left out of like the normal teacher gifts and that kind of thing. So this Pattern Party DSP is amazing. It's, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see, but all sorts of bright, cheerful colors on one side and then on the other side is black and white. So, so many uses and it's just gorgeous and patterns and flowers and all sorts of different things. So, I have really been loving this paper and I wanted to share with you. So, I picked out a different pattern for this one um, than the two that I just showed you. So, it's actually so shockingly simple to make once you find the hand warmers that I set aside. <laughs> so, okay. So this piece of designer series paper is six inches by five and a half inches, which I'm just trying to make sure I know which way, but six by five and a half. So I am literally just going to kind of scrunch this up and I don't wanna do anything that will activate the actual hand warmers. It says they're air activated, so it's probably fine but I am going to essentially just roll this closed just like that so I chose to use uh, my tear and tape for this project so I'm just going to take a strip of it and put this on one edge of the paper <laughs> I know I looked at the toe warmers too because seriously like it just is brutal out there when the wind is blowing and it's below freezing and these sweet people are just out there doing their unappreciated job that keeps all of our kids safe so yeah we took them Halloween treats I think you guys might have sorry I'm seriously struggling with this um you guys might have seen the Halloween treats that I did for them and then, like I said, this was supposed to be Christmas, but here we are. So it's a January pick you up kind of gift. Um, it got so nasty here that we stopped riding bikes to school and we had been pretty dedicated little bikers. I was kind of proud of myself. Um, but when once the snow had hit and the sidewalks weren't clear, there was just really no way to bike safely because the roads that we have to go on to get to Jonah's school are too busy for him to ride on the street. So, all right, so I think for this one, I'm just gonna do the staple technique. So I wanna make sure that I get it on there good, but that I don't staple the actual hand warmer package. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is take just your normal run of the mill hole punch and I'm just holding this together here and I'm going to punch right there in the center. And this is our new cotton ribbon combo pack. So the colors are Misty Moonlight and pe Petal Pink is this one. So I'll run this through here. And you know, I did my whole clean up to get ready for my Facebook Live thing. So I can't find anything. <laughs> Everything has been put where it actually belongs, which is so not actually close to where I do my videos. So forgive me if I keep having to hop up and grab things. Um, okay, so that bow will do. And we'll just take our little snips here and get that finished. So this past weekend, we watched um, the new Disney movie, Encanto. Jonah has been crazy excited about it ever since he first heard about it, like at the beginning of December or something. So we finally got to watch it and it is so good. It's based in Colombia and it's about family dynamics and just all sorts of really powerful, meaningful things. So if you haven't watched it, it's on Disney Plus and it's amazing and I definitely would recommend it. 
Um, I'm thinking we're going to do this little guy because I haven't used him yet for this project. And so it is, um, it's got great music and it's just beautifully illustrated, animated. Um, so we've heard it like four times now. Because you know how kids are. Once you start something and realize you like it, then you just keep going. So anyway, um, fortunately, it stands up to multiple viewings. So I don't think I'll ever let my sister live down the watching The Little Mermaid every single day after school when she was in kindergarten. It was exhausting. And I can still sing all the songs. So, <laughs> you know. Maybe this will not turn into that. I, I wouldn't mind if we didn't go quite that far down this road. So I'm just going to color this little guy. I'm using my dark soft suede to get his cute little nose. And then I'm going to take my light crumb cake. And these are the Stampin' Blends. They're alcohol-based markers. And so I just used my Memento ink to stamp the little guy. Um, it's a water-based, so it won't bleed with the alcohol markers. So, all right. And I think the card that I made with you, with the otters a couple of weeks ago, I fussy cut the actual otter. And for this one, I am actually just going to die cut a circle around him. So I think we might lose part of his tail, but I'm gonna be okay with that. So now I'm using just my dark crumb cake. Now these Stampin' Blends are wonderful because they blend together. So you get a lot of really good shading and um, different kind of looks to your coloring. For my otters though, I have just been straight up just coloring single shades for each area. Um, and I've been happy with that. It's probably not perfect and I'm sure that some people are putting a whole lot more effort into the whole concept of shading and blending. Um, but I try to be realistic about what my recipients are going to do <laughs> with, with their cute little gifts and cards. So I, I'm really not intending to hand over a work of art. Um, just something that cheers people up for a few minutes. It's amazing how just one little act of appreciation can turn your day around. So I think we just don't, as a society, say thank you enough. So anyway, that's that's sort of my opinion on things, but... All right, I am taking my light pull party and I'm just going to really carefully, quickly outline him. So like I said, I don't know exactly how much of him is going to get trimmed off when I cut the circle. Um, but this just kind of gives the appearance of him being in water. And then I'm going to take my dark pool party and just go over the actual ripples around him. <laughs> you learned to like the monkeys. That's funny because that is one, one thing that I have always known that she loved. We were so, so sad when, was it the lead singer died recently? It was terrible. Everybody. Betty White. Oh my gosh. I'm just more and more people. It's really, really sad. Okay, um, so I'm using my dark granny apple green because it is a color that is in this designer series paper. So just doing a little bit of our color coordination, which is one of the best parts of Stampin' Up's products. Okay, give me one second while I take my layering circles die here and cut the sky out. Before 
She got you into the monkeys. What did you like to listen to? Okay, there is our little guy. Now I also have already punched from Granny Apple Green, so the same color as the fish. Um, I believe this one's the Label Me Fancy Punch. So I am just going to glue him directly onto there. It's kind of hard for me to think of my mom as like a teenager with teenager musical tastes and it's just interesting. But yeah, I definitely grew up with the monkeys. So, okay, get that glued on there. And now we're just going to add this to our project with dimensionals. So, get this on and then put him, oh, I'm liking how he's looking. So cute. All right, I am going to take a little bit of petal pink and then the white to get our sentiment on here. So this says you are utterly awesome, which I don't know, sometimes I'm not super fond of the pun things, but this one is cute and it works because I like people to know how awesome they are. So I'm just going to stamp the sentiment twice here to get this to work. Um, right there. No, that's terrible. What did I do? All right, we'll flip it over. That is why cardstock has two sides. So we'll go right here. Much better. And then I'm also going to come over to my petal pink piece and just stamp it right there. And then I'm going to trim out just the Otterly and we'll add it to the whole sentiment. So when I'm hand trimming, I can never cut straight ever, ever. I don't know why it's so hard for me, but I therefore try to make it look like it was hand cut and is not perfectly straight so that nobody expects it to be perfect, if that makes sense. So now we've got that and I can glue this on here. So you can see how this is a great project to reproduce because there's no difficult scoring or remembering measurements. You know, you basically just take a piece of paper and wrap it until you get the, the size that you want. So, oh, I didn't realize that you were anti-Beatles. <laughs> so that's good to know. Hi, Renee, I'm glad you're here. Hopefully you can go back and watch it. We're discussing music history. So, um, I know it's something that really helps sentiments like stand out when you do it like this. Oh, that's not gonna work though. Okay. So I'm just going to feed this in here. Had I been better prepared, I would have just had the perfectly measured little strip that fits in this. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. There we go. All right, so now that it's lined up where I want it, I will just punch that out and get rid of the excess. And, okay, we're just gonna glue this on and we are done. So yeah, quick and simple. I think I talked probably almost as much as I crafted. So <laughs> I try not to do that to you, but also I just really, wanted something easily replicatable for you. So, and if you haven't already seen it, I have an Otter Project Challenge on my page, my group and my business page. Um, so definitely if you have the stamp set, go make your own creation and post it up there and I will draw someone to win a, a celebration freebie. So. Um, definitely take a look at that and 
Hey, Janie, it'll be, the, the replay will be back up in, you know, like five minutes, so no big deal. But I'm glad to see you. I appreciate you being here, especially because the next thing that I was going to say is that you actually win for sharing last week's video. So I will get a pack of cards to you. So thank you again. And again, as a reminder, all of those likes and shares really do help me. Um, so I appreciate you doing that. And hope that you enjoy the little goodies that you get for it. So this is our project and I'll bring in these little guys. Janie, it's got a, pack, a pair of hand warmers in it. So there you go. And I didn't even like, sometimes I felt like off center looked better than centered. So, you know, you just kind of roll with how you're feeling as you're doing it. So I hope you enjoyed those this evening and I really appreciate seeing you all again and I look forward to seeing you next Thursday. Okay, have a wonderful long weekend for those of you who get a day off and otherwise try to stay warm and try to stay away from COVID because it seems like it's coming for all of us. I just found out today or like just before I went live that yeah, my son has to do remote learning on Tuesday, so. Anyway, I just just keep holding my breath and hoping we stay well. So you guys take care and I will talk to you soon. Bye.